I've never done this before, but I did this. I'm making this for myself. I was just working today, Christmas Eve. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, and a customer comes and gets me and tells me that there is a young man who is stealing stuff, and he has his pockets bulging and and tells me what he looks like and I go out and I see him of course and he's got stuff bulging out of his pant pockets and his sweatshirt and I approached him and said you know do you need help with anything are you doing okay and he said yeah yeah and he didn't he just looked distraught and he started for the door and I said I said sir please don't leave and he walked out the door so I followed him to the sidewalk and I thought, okay, you're not supposed to follow him any farther than that. So I, I, I stopped, and then I went around the corner, and he was standing in his uh, next to the in his truck. So I went to take a picture of his license plate, and he said, he stood in front. He came back and stood in front of it, and he said, um, he said, please don't do that. Please don't do that. And I said, well, I'm gonna call. I said, I will call the police if you don't give me my merchandise back. I said, I don't care about what's going on. I said, just give me my merchandise back. And he said, w will you please not call the police? And I said, if you bring it in and you let me have the merchandise, then we'll call it even. And he said, okay. He said, but can we do it someplace where people don't stare at me? And I said, sure, we'll go over in the corner. So it went over there and he started, I got two baskets and he started pulling out merchandise. And he pulled out toys and candy and Christmas items and bows and tape and a couple little decorations and I said is this stuff for your kids for Christmas and he he teared up and he said yeah I don't have any money to get him anything and I said how many kids do you have and he said three and he said well I have two but I'm also taking care of my nephew I said okay so he stepped he kept pulling things out and I had two basket carry baskets full of, and I said okay follow me and he, and he just kind of looked at me funny but he followed me up and I had I went up to the checkouts and I had Sue at the checkouts um, ring everything up for him and I said I'm gonna get this stuff for you because I don't want you to go to jail on Christmas Eve I don't want your kids to be devastated that you're not there for Christmas and I don't want you to go to another store and 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 get yourself in trouble I just don't want that to happen and I, I was fine I didn't cry or anything I was so I was so calm and then he went over and sat down by the window and he started to cry. So we rang him up and it was about $75 worth. And then a lady behind him, she, I don't think she knew really what was going on, but she said, do you need some other things? And he said, no. And he was crying. He said, no, I, I'm fine. And she, she took him into the store. She said, let's go buy some, let's go, let's go look, let's go buy some other things. I don't know how much she ended up buying for him, but she went through and she got him some things and when that young man left his arms were full of packages and wrapping paper and he came over and I didn't want to be there when he left because I didn't want to make a big scene about it make him feel bad but he came over to the office and he knocked on the door and he was crying and he said thank you so much for doing this for me he said I can't believe this has happened and his name is Sean and I said Sean please I said please don't do anything on Christmas Eve to go to jail I said just go home and wrap your gifts and I had a $25 gift card in my in my purse for a friend for uh, Walmart and I said I said one more thing I said I gave him the gift card and I said go to Walmart and get you some something for Christmas dinner I said I don't know what your situation is but surely you can pick up something and he cried and he left he said I just can't believe this is happening and he left and if I had not, if my assistant had not been late, I would have, I would have not got to, I would have missed this completely. I would have missed this opportunity. And don't, I don't want anyone to ever tell me there's not a God. There is a God. And he works in the most amazing way. And he's touched me today out of the blue. And I, I'm not even a real religious person, but you can feel it in your heart. That's all there is to it. You feel it in your heart. Merry Christmas.